there's a lot of confusion about uh, the nature of emotional intelligence, where it comes from, uh, how it first appeared in the literature, uh, etc. Um, especially uh, based on the work of uh, Daniel Goleman, who wrote the uh, the Times uh, bestseller uh, EQ: How uh, EQ matters more than uh, than IQ, uh, and uh, he was subsequently uh, featured on a cover page article in. Time magazine back in uh, back in 1995, and uh, the, the the concept really took off uh, from that point. But although Dan, Daniel Goleman uh, popularised uh, the, uh, the the idea itself, it was uh, firstly uh, proposed and really uh, scientifically uh, studied uh, by Jack Mayer and Peter Selvey. Uh, Jack Mayer at the University of um, New Haven and Peter Selvey. At Yale University now, by the way, the um, the president of Yale University. Uh, although there had been some references to emotional intelligence in a, a PhD thesis and in some papers coming out of Germany, it was really Salovey and Mayer who, uh, who 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 grasped the um, the nettle, so to speak, and developed the uh, the construct as a scientific uh, idea. Uh, Goldman himself, uh, <coughs> who lives in that area. Uh, was uh, doing an article, he, he works for the New York Times, he was doing an article on uh, children's education and it uh, was while he was in the classroom that he discovered uh, this thing called emotional intelligence and he thought, well that's an interesting idea, I can probably make a lot of money and then turn, turn himself into an extremely wealthy man uh, with that uh, best-selling uh, book. Uh, but but Goldman's uh, take on emotion intelligence uh, went way beyond uh, what the original developers of the uh, of the construct uh, had suggested it was about, and that's that's rather unfortunate. Um, subsequent to uh, to Goldman's work, a, uh, an Israeli uh, entrepreneur by the name of uh, Reuven uh, Baron uh, had just completed his uh, his PhD on um, a, a particular uh, clinical um, uh, syndrome called alexithymia, uh, which is uh, when people clinically lose the ability to, uh, to uh, read their own emotions or any emotions. And uh, Reuven Baron uh, read Goldman's book and thought, this is exciting. <laughs> I've, I can use the instruments I've developed for my uh, studies of alexithymia here. And uh, he knew a, um, the, uh, the a CEO of a company in, um, in Toronto uh, called Steve Stein, and the company's called Multi Health Systems. So he raced off to Multi Health Systems and said, uh, hey, I think uh, I've got, a, I've got a, a winner for you here. Uh, I've developed the scale, uh, which I now call um, the EQI. <coughs> and um, uh, Ravin Baron uh, went on very successfully to, uh, to market the EQI uh, based on his, uh, his uh, doctoral work in South Africa at Rhodes University. In the meantime, um, uh, Mayer and Salovey had teamed up with a consultant uh, in the in the uh, New Haven area, whose name was uh, uh, David Caruso, uh, and uh, working with David Caruso, they decided to turn their idea of emotion intelligence into a commercial product, and went to the same uh, scale retailer, by the way, uh, Steve Stein and um, and uh, in multi health systems in Toronto. And interestingly enough, this company sells the two uh, sells the two best selling. Uh, measures of emotion intelligence. But uh, there's a big difference. Uh, the, uh, the measure of emotion intelligence worked out by, um, by Mayer and Selby uh, is really based on solid uh, scientific uh, foundation and incorporates four uh, branches, four branches. Uh, the first branch is the ability uh, to perceive emotions. Uh, in yourself and in and in others, um, a, a typical um, part of the uh, of their instrument shows a picture of rocks and asks you, you know, what emotion uh, do you experience when you see these rocks? Well, if you say it, you know, makes me mad or it makes me happy, uh, that's not very emotionally intelligent. Okay, so uh, perceiving emotions. The next one is um, and a little bit controversial: is uh, assimilating emotions uh, in your thought processes. 
So uh, some people are better able to take that information that they've received and actually use it in their thought processes. Uh, the third one is uh, understanding emotions, which is more of, a, more of an IQ uh, type thing. It's the extent to which you understand the effect that emotions have on yourself and on, and on others. And the fourth one uh, is known as uh, the managing emotions branch, and that's the ability to um, to uh, regulate your, uh, your own emotions, um, to keep cool when, um, when things are hot sort of thing, uh, and also to, uh, to regulate emotions in others. Uh, if you start to get rather emotional about what I'm saying in this, uh, in this interview, uh, I can sort of calm you down a little bit. So, that's, um, so that's, uh, th that's that ability. Now that's known as the ability model. Of, um, of emotional intelligence. It's based on an IQ style test and uh, in my writings I've characterised that as the gold standard uh, of emotional intelligence. Well the question is how does an understanding of emotional intelligence benefit leaders? But emotional intelligence is four branches. <laughs> okay. uh, so leaders are to be emotional intelligence. Uh, they need to perceive, to assimilate, uh, to understand and most of all to manage emotions. Uh, some coll some uh, colleagues uh, wrote a paper uh, where they described the model as the uh, cascading model. Uh, so this is Joseph and Newman a few years ago did a meta-analysis showing that the uh, showing that the emotional intelligence uh, it's a meta-analysis so it's across many studies so that it really does have an effect and they demonstrated support for this cascading model so um, so first of all you you perceive and the perceptions then go into um, uh, the assimilation the assimilation goes into understanding and then once you understand it you can then manage it so it's a cascading cascading uh, model and uh, you know that's uh, been across hundreds of studies now, uh, shown to be a valid model. Uh, somebody who is emotional intelligence needs to be able to work through those um, uh, th those levels, the cascading models, perceiving, uh, assimilating, understanding, and and managing. And uh, if you're uh, truly uh, somebody with emotional intelligence, you won't be fixated on emotions. In fact, quite the opposite. Uh, the, uh, one, one, of the, one of the characteristics, as I've shown in my research, is that people who are high in emotional intelligence are uh, very good at putting their emotions aside. People who are low in emotional intelligence don't know what's going on. Yeah. Uh, I'm probably in that category. <laughs> tend to get very emotional about things. Uh, so, uh, so good leaders uh, have uh, emotional intelligence, and in particular, they know how to manage emotions, because they're a cascading model, they know how to manage emotions in self and others. So according to, uh, to my colleagues and I, Marie Desper and many others, uh, we see emotional intelligence as a critical uh, skill, uh, the ability of emotional intelligence as a critical skill for leaders.